Welcome to the Davis Newscast for Friday, January 7th, 2022. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. In light of the increase in the COVID-19 positive cases, the Ministry and Department of Education on Nevis, guided by the health officials, are making preparations for safe teaching and learning to continue in Term 2 of the 2021-2022 academic year, which is scheduled to commence on January 10th, 2022. Parents and guardians are asked to follow the Ministry of Education Nevis Facebook page and their respective school Facebook pages for updates. Additionally, updates will be given during the Youth on the Go program on Vaughn Radio on Saturday, January 8th, 2022 from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. I'm Freddie Salabro reporting for the Nevis Newscast. I want to thank all who made significant sacrifices in the interest of our country over the past year of this COVID-19 pandemic. Our frontline workers, security forces, teachers, farmers, fisher folk, public and private sector, whose collective efforts ensured that our country registered growth and is moving towards a sustained path of recovery and resurgence during this challenging period. We can all agree that 2021 was a remarkably challenging year. Each and every one of us has endured and sacrificed much. I go further to make the clarion call for our young aspiring professionals to make healthcare priority career choice. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown us that our healthcare system must be robust, equipped with the best human and technical resources in order to keep up with the ever-changing challenges of public health. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley, expressing his gratitude to frontline workers during his New Year's Day address for 2022. Premier Brantley also has responsibility for education and gave some words of encouragement to teachers and other education professionals. I encourage our leaders in education to persevere, to continue to be innovative and proactive in their field. The response to the uncharted challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic has been remarkable, from getting technology into the hands of students in need to enforcing health and safety protocols at schools. Teachers continue to avail themselves of every opportunity to improve your methods, especially as it pertains to using technology as one of the most valuable teaching tools in these very uncertain times. Maximize classroom time and be sure to establish strong lines of communication with parents and guardians as you work together to secure quality education for our children. Parents, please, now, more than ever, invest that time with your children, advising, counseling, and reinforcing material taught in school. Filling learning gaps is not just the responsibility of teachers, it is the responsibility of everyone. Premier of Nevis, the Honourable Mark Brantley. Still to come, 2022 MOFA Taiwan Scholarship open for application. The details after this break. My name is Jaden Walters. And my name is Alicia Walters. And we are pro students of the Nevis International Secondary School. I took the vaccine to protect myself from catching the deadly coronavirus. And I took the vaccine to protect my friends and family from contracting COVID-19. Don't wait, vaccinate! Welcome back. The 2022 MOFA Taiwan Scholarship is open for application. Those who are interested in seeking a bachelor, master, or doctoral degree conducted in Mandarin, Chinese, or English are encouraged to apply through the Ministry of Education of St. Kitts and Nevis. Please check the following websites on your screen for more details. The MOFA Taiwan Scholarship duration includes a pre-degree Mandarin Language Enrichment Program, LEP, one year maximum, undergraduate program, four years maximum, 
master program two years maximum a doctoral program four years maximum the total duration for any combination of programs under this scholarship is five years maximum applicants must be a high school graduate or above the applicants must finish application procedures at the ministry of education before march 31st 2022 for onward further review and forwardness to taiwan Applicants should submit the documents listed below, a completed application form, a photocopy of applicant's passport or other photo IDs that prove nationality, a photocopy of the highest level diploma or certificate of equivalent educational level, and a complete grade transcript. If issued by a foreign educational institution, these documents must be authenticated by the Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan. Documents to certify that they have applied to an educational edu institution or its affiliated Mandarin training center, such as photocopies of the application fee receipt, the application form, and a note of reply or email from the educational institution. For those applying for degree programs taught in Chinese without taking the LEP program first, a photocopy of a test of Chinese as a foreign language, TOCFL transcript, or certificate for level 2 or above. A photocopy of a TOEFL transcript, a certificate of English proficiency approved by the applicant's government, or documents to certify that the applicant has graduated from a program taught in English. This does not apply to applicants whose official national language is English. Two letters of reference, other documents requested by the Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan, incomplete documents, and belated applications applications will not be processed. Moreover, scholarship granting approvals will be made by a joint committee in Taiwan. For questions regarding this scholarship, please contact the embassy at 465-2421. Owing to the ongoing disruptions in supply chains globally, the government of St. Kitts and Nevis has taken the decision to extend the duty-free concession on non-commercial goods until January 31, 2022. This concessionary allowance, which formed part of a comprehensive Christmas carnival relief package announced by Prime Minister Dr. the Honorable Timothy Harris in November, where non-commercial importers were granted duty-free allowance of EC $540 or US $200 of the cost, insurance, and freight CIF value of goods was expected to end on Friday, December 31st, 2021. However, the disruptions to supply chains created major backlogs in the delivery of packages, resulting in many persons not being able to clear their imported packages during the Christmas or Carnival season and thereby not benefiting from the approved concessions. Importantly, also, the duty-free concessions on gift packages of foodstuff up to 500 pounds in weight run up to February 28, 2022, as was previously announced by Prime Minister Harris. And that's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.